Okay, uh, this is the last video in the series, I think. I probably won't put any more in um, for this one. If you've gotten this far, congratulations. Uh, this blackjack program kills a lot of students, so you've done well. Um, we're going to make the cards animate. You can see that on my uh, game here, when I hit, the card flies up and in. All right, I don't have that happening for the dealer. No big deal. All right, um, so there I bust it out. Um, but the car flies in, and here's how I do that. Inside of on draw for the player where I'm drawing here, uh, we're drawing the card at location 80. That's horizontal. Well, I created a getter setter value called fly, and I initialize it at zero. And I say if it's less than 81, every time the screen refreshes, we're just going to add four to it, and we're going to subtract a number from vert fly called negative 20, which is the vertical value of the. Um, Uh, that the hand would normally be at, and instead of drawing the hand every time at a static value of 80 times Q, we're going to draw it at fly uh, times Q. And then once it hits this, you know, if it's as long as it's less than 80, it'll add, right? But once it gets to that point where we want the cards to stay, it'll no longer add to this value, okay? So we get the cards that move up and over until they get to the point where we want them to. And once the card hits uh, hits 80, it will stop subtracting from vert fly, and it will stop adding to fly. And basically, once it hits this point here, the card stops moving. So take a look at that. Um, that's real simple uh, animation every time the screen refreshes. You're going to want to go into main activity, and you're going to want to set buttons up so that when you uh, click redeal and stuff, you have to reset these values. Uh, this fly value has to be zero at the beginning of every hit right for example so that's something that uh, I'll challenge you to kind of play with uh, good luck and uh, once again uh, thank you for watching